I was working at the uh, Endicott building downtown St. Paul. Um, and uh, on my lunch breaks, I would walk to various places for lunches, oh, have something to eat, and uh, I'd walk past this art gallery, and um, this picture caught my eye as I was walking by one day, and the picture was on the far back wall of the, the hallway that I was walking down, probably a good 50, 60 feet back into the store. Um, but amongst all of the pictures that were in there, this particular one almost just, it just grabbed my attention and I, I was 20 years old at the time. I didn't have any interest in collecting art or buying anything like that. Um, so I just kind of dismissed it and ignored it for quite a while and then, uh, um, but every day that I walked by, it would catch me capture my attention again. So one day I walked in and actually walked up to it and stood and looked at it for for a while and for whatever reason I had to have this picture. I didn't understand why. I knew that I had some Indian uh, blood in me but I didn't realize how much or what it was or anything like that, what, what nationality, what tribe. Um, and I didn't have $200 to pay for it, so I put it on a layaway and I, and I made, and I made uh, payments on it. Can you call Baxter? Baxter. Baxter, come. Baxter. Anyway. Um, so after making several payments on it, then uh, uh, they came where I took it home and then had it with me um, since 1980 and then um, and then I found uh, my birth mother and Sharon and uh, when we met it was a very positive experience for both of us and uh, she gave me several things that were personal to her and I felt like I would do the same and I and so I gave her this picture and uh, she hung it up in her uh, in her recreation room and um, one day when she was going to go up to uh, the uh, reservation to visit some of the relatives she thought that uh, she would take a picture of this and take it with and show it to the medicine man of the tribe and to find out what all the symbology was what's what's going on in this picture um, and uh, so she did, and uh, the medicine man, it was a Polaroid snapshot, and so he took out his magnifying glass, and, and he was spending some time looking at it, and he explained to her that, that this is a medicine man who used to be a warrior. Uh, the two feathers means that he was wounded twice in battle. One of the wounds, he was blinded in one eye. But now he's a medicine man, and in this picture here, he's communicating with the spirits. These are, these are the spirits, and these lines indicate the communication uh, culminating in this, what appears to be a UFO. Uh, I've since learned a little bit more about Native Americans that, that uh, just about every tribe in, in the country, North America, talk about the, the spirit people, the spirit, or the sky, sky, people, sky people, sky people, and that they clearly had relationships with extraterrestrial beings. I don't know what else you would call that, honestly, when you look at it. Anyway, he's looking at this and he's telling her these different things and, and I, I wish that uh, she had written down all the different things that, uh, that he had told her, but then he stopped and for a moment looked a little closer and down on the bottom is the artist's name, Little Big Black Hawk. And he said, Sharon, did you know that Little Big Black Hawk is a relative of yours? 
and he only paints pictures of his blood relatives. So that means that this is a blood relative of mine, of ours. That just blew me away. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. So, I mean, it was pretty amazing information. Um, Sharon passed away, and, and then I got this back. Um, and so, several years later, um, some good friends of ours, uh, Diana's dad, uh, has, has a friend that is a spiritual medium. And she was going to be over at their house uh, one night, and they invited us over, and we could have a reading if we wanted. Um, and so I took a picture of this, and put it in an envelope and sealed it. And we went over there and um, this woman began talking with me and pretty soon said, um, there's, there's somebody here right now standing right behind you. Um, she said she's about five foot two, dark hair, kind of a round face, and I'm getting the name Sherry or Cheryl. And after trying for a while, then she finally said, Sharon, do you know a Sharon? Yeah. So that was just... Yeah really weird and she just went on to say that uh, she just wants to uh, let you know that she's okay and that uh, she wanted to make sure that you're okay and uh, then she went on to tell different tell me different things that um, I don't even remember if we wrote them down but some really interesting things and then the end of the session um, she said, I see you have an envelope there. Is that something you'd like me to tell you what's inside this envelope? And I said, yeah. And so I handed her the envelope, and she held on to it for a little bit. And pretty soon she says, this is, a, this is a picture of a relative of yours, like a great, great, great grandfather. And then... And then back and to the back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a cool story? But, but uh, that kind of just, uh, you know, uh, convinced me that what the medicine man had to say was, had some merit to it, yeah. although I've not been able to uh, find out any more about this little big black pot. Um, yeah. So, that's the story, and this is a blood relative of yours, yeah. according Everybody to the two know. sources. Awesome. And so now it makes a little bit more sense, perhaps, why I had to have this painting. And I think it's just amazing how uh, this many feet back and this, that just drew you in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. So it would be really cool if it would be possible to find this artist and learn a little bit more yeah. about this person. Who is it? We're on exactly. it. Exactly. John's mom has the name, so since well, that's the story. Picture, like, since know. I told my dad, he goes, "How could can you get us a picture?" He sent him the picture, and he goes, "Oh, we need the the artist's name, so your mom can look up the name and see where she can go with that." And I emailed him back, said, "No, that is the name, not just the picture name. That's, that's the, the artist's artist person name. that painted or drew it." Yep. So. And the other interesting thing about this is, and you can probably tell, but it was all done with pencil. Yeah. It was all graphite. There's no paint. That's awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. That's just amazing. And another thing, uh, one of the television programs that Diane and I like to watch, the Ancient Aliens, there was one episode where they were doing uh, about uh, Native Americans and their experiences with extraterrestrial beings uh, in a, one of the caves that they went into. These little images right here. Exact. Exact. 
were etched on. Etched in the stone. Along okay. with these images of these, what look like a person, but big kind of oval heads, big eyes, wow. long limbs, and, and the almond shaped eyes. They call them the sky people. Oh. And they actually Come on, they, just they're not making this with stuff them up. Meditation. They actually physically came. Yeah. And you know, they, these are the stories through and their own years type ago. of glyphs. That that's you know, amazing. Who makes stuff up like that no, years ago? No. Nowadays, yeah, but mm -hmm. years ago like that? No. Yeah. That's amazing. And some of the drawings that you that they would that we that they would show in these caves in North America, then they would show drawings in the Central America, oh, and and South yeah. America, and Samaria, and Egypt. Same pictures, same and drawings. Come on, yeah. this was before the internet and telephones. Yeah, and, that's and how, you know how? How I guess the whole idea is is that I mean the premise of it all is that sure. our existence on this planet has been watched. Oh yeah, and assisted. And assisted. Yeah. In many ways, yeah. which you'd have to watch that program to understand the breadth of that. I think Dylan has watched, I don't know if he watched anything about, you know, Indians or Native Americans or, but, yeah. What about that thing on his chest? You said it might mean something. This here, this, this, I just would really like to know more about what that is because really that's what captured my attention more than anything. There's clear symbology there. The, the, yeah. What the symbology of that is, there's some kind of connection to this and this and, right. and this. Right. So, yeah. That would be interesting to learn more about that. That's amazing. And I'm assuming that this artist didn't draw every blood relative, but probably ones for a reason. So right. Right. So you know, maybe find out what. what is so special about this particular this relative right. would be a really cool exactly really yeah. cool most definitely yeah I and mean, wow and you wonder gosh how old you know would this gentleman be right now this little big black hawk would he be reachable would he be you know so alive, would, he, yeah. would that be something to bring that to him oh yeah you know yeah. here's Amazing. your drawing you're, you know, can you call me? What happened in here? Oh, that would just be. For sure. I got a plane for that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. I agree. I would. Most definitely would be there too. What do you think those triangles are? These here? Yeah. Again, some symbology that means something. And the white around him. Yeah. Yeah. His aura. Yeah. He's like bright. Yeah. Lit up. Yeah. Beautiful work. It very beautiful. And it'd be nice to know the, the mountainous background where might yeah. that be. And what else is interesting is it also looks like there are mountains up yeah. past in the sky. In the yeah. sky. Yes. You're right. Yeah. I mean you just go on and on looking mm -hmm. at different things that you missed and you're like, Oh my gosh, that look at that. Look at that exactly. Yeah. This is the first time I've noticed the mountains in the sky. Me too. And I was just too focused <laughs> Before on. I was like, Oh maybe they're just puppy clouds. <laughs> Well, yeah. I just think that they're, they're, it, they're, it's a big mountain range that's so high that the clouds are actually coming across. Yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah. 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 Save. You're good. Look at him. <laughs> He's good. Little big black hawk name down there. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Oh, you yeah. Oh, you guys face? Yeah. Oh.